Hey there, in this video we are going to work on adding the location for the room. When we go to location step, the map goes automatically to the user city using his IP and uh, we can locate the exact location of the user using this icon of geolocator. It is toggle button, you can enable or disable and from this navigator you can zoom in or zoom out. And you can drag the marker to any location you want and from this search box you can search for any city or street let's search for Hanoi and from here you can as well zoom in and move the marker to any place you want in the city so let's get started let's go to our component add location we need here to install three packages one is the main map box package and the react map.gl package and the package for the search box or the geocoder and here let's just start adding our map we are going to use box from material UI. It's imported. And let's add some styling. Let's give it a height 400. And position relative to contain our map. And let's import map component. Let's call it React Map GL. From React Map GL, and let's use it here. Let's add some props for this component. First one is Map Box Access Token. This token we can create it using Map Box Site. Let's go to the site. You can create an account, and you can easily create a token. I've already created one, so let's copy it. And let's go to our environment variables and add it here. Let's call it react underscore app underscore map token. And let's paste it here. Let's save and restart our environment. And here let's extract our token from our environment variable process.m dot react underscore app underscore map token. And here let's add initial view state. Longitude we need here to add a global state. Let's go to our context provider and let's call it location. It is an object, longitude is 0 as default and latitude is 0 as well. And let's save and go to our reducer to add action to update this state. Let's call it update location. And we will retain the same state. Location will be our payload in the action. Let's save and go back to our add location component. And let's extract our state here. Let's extract the location from our state and from location we can extract longitude and latitude and let's add a dispatcher because we need to update our location every time and let's use here longitude and latitude is lat those are our public variables and let's give it default zoom 8 
and here let's add a style from map box streets version 11 and let's import css style from map box package Here let's add the component marker from React Mapbox and add it as a props. Latitude is lat and longitude is our public state LNG and it is draggable so we can drag it and move it. And on the drag end, we can add a function. We will receive the event. And we will dispatch to update our state. Type update location. And the payload, we will extract the longitude and latitude from our event. LNG is e.lng lat.lng. And lat is e lng lat lat let's save and check here's our map and we are in the location zero zero we can drag our marker that means it is working it is updating our global state and we can zoom in and move it for example to this location let's go back and add our navigator let's use navigation control from react map box we are going to position it in the bottom right corner and let's save and check again here's our navigator we can zoom out or zoom in without the touchpad now let's add our geolocator we will use the component geolocate control from react map box and let's add our props here position is top left and the track user location to make it as a toggle button and here on geolocate when we locate the user location we can just update our state using the dispatcher type update location and payload we will extract the longitude and latitude from our event let's save and check Using this button, we can find the user exact location. And by the way, this is not my real location. If you want, I can show you in another video how to fake your location on the maps. And you can, of course, drag the marker as well. So our functionality is working. Let's now find the user city using the IP. We need here to create a reference for our map. Mapref equals useref from React. And we are going to use use effect in the first render. Let's first add this reference. Let's 
and we are going to check the location if the longitude and latitude both are zero we are going to use IB API to find the location of the user using his IP let's use fetch https ibapi.co forward slash json we are going to wait for a promise we will receive the response and we will extract the json object and we will receive the data after that and we will move our map center to this location using what we received in the data map ref dot current dot fly to we will pass it an object center of the map is an array data dot longitude and data dot latitude and let's update our state in the global context type update location and payload LNG data dot longitude and lat is data dot latitude and let's save and check now we need to refresh our page because it is in the first render and we've already updated our location it's just a triggered when the location is zero and zero so let's go back to our ad and now we are in our city depending on the IB now let's work on our search box using the geocoder we need to add a component here let's call it geocoder.js we are going here to retain only null because we are going to use a hook from the package react map let's import the geocoder from our package at map box and let's here extract our dispatcher from the global context using our hook use value and let's see here initialize map box geocoder we will pass it an object access token is our access token in our environment variable and the marker will be false because we have already a marker and we need it to be collapsed and now let's use our hook use control so from react map dash gl and let's retain to this hook our object control and here let's set a listener on our control object when there is a result after the search we will pass a function we will receive an event and let's extract our coordinates from this event after that we will update our state type update location and payload longitude is coordinates 0 and latitude is coordinates 1 and let's save and go back to import it in our add location component let's add it inside our map 
what we need first is to import uh, the style from at box. Let's import it here. And let's save and check. And here is our box and it is collapsed. Let's search for Mumbai, for example. It is working and the marker as well. Let's search for another city, for example, Sao Paulo. It's working perfectly. Let's now work on completing location step. Let's go back and go to add room component because the step our state is there. And let's here import our location state from global context. Let's copy one of these use effect because it is almost the same. And change it here to location. And change the condition to be if location dot longitude or location dot latitude. That means if any one of them is not zero, we will set the first step. That is the location. Let's check. It is the location. We will set it to be true if it is not already true. And if the condition is wrong, we will set it if it is true to be false. And let's save and check. Now it is working, it is already completed because we've already have a location for our room. Our functionality is working perfectly. And in our next video, we are going to work on submitting the room information to our server. Let's add the room location here. And let's go next to our details and add some title. and any description more than 10 characters and let's add here images for the room let's select some images And let's submit. Our room has been saved into our database. And here's the details of the room with the detailed address. And if we go to the main map, we can go to Vietnam. And here's our room. It's a slider. And we can click and see all the details. We are going to work on that in our upcoming video. So see you guys in the next video.